I'm Sarah Hashimaris in the Los Angeles Times Newsroom. On the heels of 14 arrests in Los Angeles Monday night, protests continue across the nation in the wake of George Zimmerman's acquittal in the killing of 17-year-old Trayvon Martin. The Times reports Reverend Al Sharpton this morning called for rallies to be held in 100 cities on Saturday, including at federal buildings, to call for federal civil rights charges against Zimmerman. Sharpton said National Justice for Trayvon Day will consist of rallies and vigils for one hour to call on the Justice Department to resume aggressively a civil rights investigation in the Zimmerman case. There's a lot to question and go on. If the family goes with a civil suit, Mr. Zimmerman will have to testify. He will face that. So we want the DOJ to seriously pursue this. Meanwhile, in Sanford, Florida, the home base of the shooting and the trial, things remain peaceful as local leaders asked for calm. Sharpton also said he plans to drive to Sanford next week to deal with the Stand Your Ground law in Florida and 29 other states. Back in Los Angeles, reports today indicate a television reporter and his camera operator were attacked after hundreds of protesters splintered off from a peaceful demonstration in the Crenshaw District, stomping cars, breaking windows, and storming a Walmart. LAPD City Chief Charlie Beck said police would be much more strict in handling future protests, but did not elaborate on the new tactics. For more on the story and other trending headlines, visit LATimes.com and for the latest on Twitter, check out at LATimes.